Uh, we'll continue the discussion about the defect equilibria. And uh, today we are going to talk about the binary phase uh, MX system. All right. So, uh, defect equilibria in binary MX system. Uh, we're going to choose the simplest case. Uh, where only one ionization state exists, okay? Only one ionization state exists, okay? Yes. So the major defect we are concerning is going to be electron and hole and the defect, positively charged defect or negatively charged defect. These four are the major defects we are concerning. So here, uh, the DM defect, it means M rich phase, uh, like a interstitial or vacancy of anions, okay? These two defects is related to the M rich. Right? And when we denote like uh, defect X prime, this means x rich phase and then uh, interstitial of x or vacancy of m is going to be related with the x rich defects. And um, for example, if we have a short key. disorder, then uh, this defect can be characterized as free x naught and free m prime, okay? And if it is a Frankel disorder type, then this major defect is going to be interstitial of cation and the vacancy of cation, things like this. Uh, um, mm. Yeah. Well, you can see is, uh, if it is uh, anti-Franco, then uh, we have a Vx naught and X prime, Xi prime, things like this. Well, then we are going to, we're going to need the four equations to have this concentration profile. And the first one is the intrinsic equilibrium constant, which is related to the electron hole pair uh, formation across the band gap. And the second thing is going to be the defect formation where M rich and X rich defects equilibrium concentration. And thirdly, we're going to have an equation related to the compositional relations, that is dx prime H naught and ax two 
course, that is a composition of relations. Uh, that is a defect pair, and that is the electron hole pair formation. And finally, we're going to have a uh, charge in neutrality conditions that negatively charges, summation of negatively charges is equal to the positively charges, the M naught. And that is uh, electro neutrality. That is called electron neutrality. Uh, here, let me just uh, give you the idea of a compositional relations in terms of the electrons and holes come position determining termination for example if the M gas phase is in equilibrium and M in Mx, okay? That is uh, M interstitial case or We can express this too, okay? And in terms of our X, X gas is also can be in equilibrium, X2 gas, and then uh, XI interstitial and the whole, or we can express the same thing, x, 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 we think like this, okay? It's just the expression. Now, we have four equations here, and then four unknowns, so that we can have uh, uh, simultaneous uh, solutions, okay? So uh, I'll just to give you the details how we can uh, solve this equation. Simultaneous solutions. What we uh, try to do is we try to express the uh, each four unknowns with respect to the uh, concentration of a single defect. Okay, in uh, one and three we can have dx prime is equal to ki over kx. AX2, that is the activity of the uh, gas phases and electrons. And uh, from one, 
Four concentration is equal to Ki over E prime. And one, two, and three, we can have dm dki over k <coughs> so all these equations we put uh, <coughs> into electro neutrality condition equation which is number four electron neutrality conditions number four then uh, we have we can have an equation one plus kx ax2 over ki Minus one over prime ki kd ki kx a x two that's a, a just a simple mathematics. So, electron concentration can be expressed as square KD plus KX AX2 over KX AX2. Ki plus Kx Ax2 Okay, then we can have an expression for the electrons and the holes and the dx prime and dm not in terms of the F, where F is equal to Kx Ax2 square root of this. Okay. So basically it's related to the uh, concentration of X2. And uh, that ends up with KD plus F over F KI plus F square Okay, and then uh, that is F KI plus F KD plus F square S. F KD plus F over KI plus F KD KD plus F plus KI F KD plus F carrot. Now, if we plot this, then um, we're going to have uh, 
something like this, okay? This is uh, defect of concentration, and this is the uh, concentration of the uh, X2 gas, the pressure or activity. Then we want to express electron hole and the defect. X rich and M rich defects, the four defects with respect to the uh, parameter F, the environment. Okay, and uh, you actually carried out the, uh, with a computer, and uh, the result is going to be something like this. Okay. Here and then. This it should just show uh, something like this, okay. Here's the two lines, and then uh, two lines here. So at each, you have two lines. At each uh, f values, we're going to have uh, four different uh, defect concentrations, depending on the value of f. Okay. And um, this is a, just an example. This is the electron, and um, this is dm. That is about the uh, um, uh, equal amount. And uh, this is the uh, x, and this is the whole concentration. So this f values, you have almost the same amount of electrons and uh, a defect, positively charged defects, and then uh, this holes and uh, negatively charged defects are balanced like this. Okay? So let me just draw here the uh, electrons with uh, different color. The electron, if you follow the electrons here, okay, and if it is ionic material, then uh, this electron concentration is going to follow this line, okay, and then uh, this one is going to be the electron like this. That is the electron concentration profile. Okay. Uh, oh. What about the other uh, let me draw the whole profile here. Whole profile is going to be this one. I'm going to draw that, and then it, uh, follows this line, and on this line it's going to be the hole, like this, okay? Then, uh, here in this center, you have a uh, very high concentration of ionic defects. It's 
So if you maintain the environment where the, this concentration of F, F again is the activity of the partial pressure of X2, right? So if you maintain the environment or the partial pressure of the uh, uh, X2 gases in this region, then this material was, uh, had a major defects as the ionic defects and the electrons and holes concentration is relatively small, very much smaller than this. So we can call this ionic material. Okay, this is a hole. Things like that. So this diagram is going to be called the defect equilibrium diagram. DED, defect equilibrium diagram. And this is a very important. Uh, all right. So uh, the slope here is about one half, uh, and uh, here is uh, of course one half, and here the slope is one. So let's just uh, have the region where the very low value of x activity. We are talking about the, this region. Let's say this is a region 1 region 1 and uh, say uh, this is the region 2 region 2 and here uh, this is region 3 okay we're talking about the region 1 uh, F is small then uh, we can make uh, approximations like a KI, KD over F, KI, square root, something like that. So that's why we have one half a slope in there. And uh, you can do the same thing for the whole, where KI over KD, one half. And uh, the major defects, negative major defect, is going to be F K D over K I one half, and what's the K D K I or F K D one half. So every slope is just one half or minus one half in that region. It's the same thing happens on this region, okay? And the, in the intermediate range where the region two, this region two can be divided into two sections where this electron holds meet. So this is a region 2-1 and here region 2-2, okay? Now uh, for region 2, firstly we can set KD, F, KI. Okay, this is a, this means ionic conductor. Then uh, electron concentration is about the KI, KD, F square, one half. So the slope is going to be one. 
and uh, H naught F square over KD. On F. And the DX prime is equal to KD square root and the uh, is equal to KD on F. So what's this? Okay. And uh, for the uh, case where KI is greater than F and the KD. This is the electronic uh, conductor, e electronic material. Electronic material. Then uh, electron is KD, <coughs> KI square root. And the uh, whole is KI square root. And then dx prime is equal to f square over ki. So um, whether this high concentration region is corresponding to the electrons and holes or the defects, ionic defects, the material it can be characterized into uh, ionic material or the electronic materials, things like that. And um, this, uh, we can uh, set that there's a boundary uh, boundaries. Mm. Let's see, uh, this one is root KD, for example. This value is root KI, things like this, okay? It's obvious from these equations that you have. The slope, you can get the slope um, by making a uh, D ln concentration over DF, ln F, you can get all the slopes. And that slope is one half or one or minus one half or minus one, things like this. Okay, you can uh, do the calculation. Now, uh, that is the defect equilibrium diagram, and uh, that shows the uh, change of the constant defect concentration. And this defect concentration is directly related to the conductivity of the material. So, <coughs> we can uh, just uh, draw the conductivity thing. relations between uh, defect concentration and conductivity. Okay. The conductivity is the summation of each uh, conductivity, where the C on T is total conductivity. Sigma I is a partial conductivity. T 
you to transport of species I. Now, the uh, partial conductivity is the concentration and each charges and mobilities. That is the uh, conductivity general equation, right? And if we draw the conductivity of the material in uh, two cases, if it is electronic material, then if you draw the conductivity and uh, with respect to the AX2, the F values, then it just to follow the higher concentration thing, you call, you know, the electron that now holds, depending on the environment. But if you have ionic material, which is Ki is smaller than Kd, then now this conductivity is going to have a certain level of the electronic conduction and uh, hole conduction. So uh, this is about antimaterial dominated by the connection of electrons. And up to here, after this, this is a p-type material. And in between, we have some values still dominated by the electrons and holes because the mobility of electrons and holes are much higher than the ions so that unless the concentration of electrons and holes are very much lower than the ionic uh, concentration, this uh, uh, n-type and p-type thing is not going to be changed. But when it becomes considerably smaller than the ionic defects, that then the con uh, conductivity now is going to be controlled by the ions. So this region is 